human beings could coalesce on an idea like the world is round, and it could be like a 99.99% understanding, and only a weird, perverse, fucktarded idiot wouldn't get it. All right, now, these are complex truths about reality, but I'm going to argue that the biggest obstacle to people getting the truth, okay, are the lies that are injected in their heads by you birthers and you fucking Gaias and you fucking religious nuts. You fucking make people retarded. You fill their head full of delusions and fables and nonsense and rubbish. And so their brain doesn't fucking do logic. And it's only until they're free of that mumbo jumbo that they can see the obvious. Because they're not distorted. They don't have your crooked distortion glasses on, your fairy tale glasses. And that's why people like myself could understand at eight years old what I'm having to explain to you fuckers. <laughs> okay, is that if you look at this objectively, if you look at this with no personal bias, but outside of your personal desire, you can see that it's fucking rubbish. That you wouldn't be that, you wouldn't be that, you wouldn't do that, you wouldn't have that, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go near any of it if you had a, a e-ticket and you could choose what fucking bullshit game to ride. You wouldn't ride any of those fucking rides. This is all a big pile of crap. He's participating in the larger course of events as they exist in our universe. Oh yeah, well, whatever. You're the imposer, so you're obviously the evil, okay? You think because you have a delusion in your head, you haven't backed up with a single goddamn rational sentence, that you have a right to impose on something else, to play fucking God, make a determination that you will perpetuate a, 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 a maze game merely because you fell upon it. It's like finding a goddamn maze game in the middle of the woods and it's got a bunch of rats and it. it's got guillotines, it's got snatch traps, it's got all kinds of fucking shit that's ripping these little rats to pieces every day and it keeps getting perpetually fed by this breeding machine that just forces more rats into the maze and you see it and you look at it and then you just walk the fuck away. No, you're the evil motherfucker. That's, that's what evil would be, so ethics is always going to be... Well, evil, evil, no, evil is, is that there is no justice and people have to pray to the clouds for hope of it, okay? But if there was justice, then people like you, all right, should get ALS. You should be the ones paying the price. You should get the, the worst seat on the fucking roller coaster. If you're going to endorse the ride, you're going to endorse the risk, it should all fall on your fucking head. It's that fucking simple. That would be justice. So contrary to the inherited situation, it destroys that situation. Oh, yeah, it's just against your little pink balloon fairy tales, okay? You're, yes, it's a completely against the three pigs, uh, Goldilocks and the bears, Snow White, um, yeah, it's against all of that nonsense and rubbish, your little henny-penny, Teletubby bullshit philosophy that's founded on not one rational fucking sentence. In terms of inhibiting growth, or um, leaving achievements of complexity, <laughs> right, 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 right. Achievements of complexity, not in physical reality anymore, just in idea, okay? And again, the only complexity that we're achieving is unraveling the bullshit. When you cut us down and get rid of the bullshit, the God delusion, all right, and look at this rationally, it's quite clear that this is just a fucking senseless infestation, consumption, Reproduction, cannibalism, addiction. That's all it's made of. There's no other elements. Your love and your beauty is all addictive psychology. It has nothing to do with anything real merit. It just has to do with your need. You are a need machine. And you're a need that doesn't need to exist. And until you come up with some rational argument why need needs to exist, you have no argument. I, I can't even believe how inane this is. Again, the wife beater had a father and a mother, you dumb fuck. 
And if they would have thought for five minutes, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't have a baby if we're drug addicts. And maybe we shouldn't have a baby if we got no fucking money. And maybe we shouldn't have a baby if we're not going to bother raising our kid and he's going to be a reformed school lunatic motherfucker who's going to go out and beat up women and rape them. Yeah, maybe if they took a little bit of responsibility for their fucking goddamn games they're playing with goddamn living organisms, then we wouldn't have these fucking goddamn animals to have to go clean up later. All right, but all you fucktards who wave your goddamn, oh, let's have more babies flags, and let's let every retard, every motherfucking 1954 retard janitor have babies. Fuck you. Fuck you. State of suffering through non-existence. If you are to look at the Benatarian asymmetry as a logical construct, then you must also look at the abatement of suffering through procreation as a logical construct. Oh, newsflash. Again, it's not logical. It's completely fuck tarded. Again, firemen starting fires so they can justify their existence by putting some of the fires out incompletely at best. That's your logic. You're going to even use the word logic to describe that circumstance? Make a mess, clean up a mess? And you're going to use the word logic? You're going to take a, a good word like logic and tie it to behavior that fucking stupid? This is the problem with antinatalism. On one hand, you have the views of an individual stating that having children is an evil because it promotes suffering. Well, whatever. Again, nobody uses the word evil, but if it's okay with me. I'm okay with the word. But it's definitely an act of selfish, self-serving bullshit. It has no rational function, all right? It only serves a selfish interest and has only downside potential. There is no upside potential. The universe does not get an orgasm every time a baby poofs into existence. Angels don't get their wings. These little fantasies that little babies pop into the world and, 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 and it's just nothing but a charm to the, to the fucking universe. No, what it is is a vulnerability. It's a huge risk of failure. But they discard the fact that by having children, one creates a larger workforce by which to remove or abate suffering. Oh, isn't that charming, too? Yeah, well, if we got more people, well, why don't we just justify slavery that way, right? Because it's more productive, right? We get to the future faster if we just enslave half the population. I mean, that kind of logic is doomed to failure. You can't justify overpopulation by saying it gets you somewhere quicker because you know it's going to get you there quicker at somebody's compromise, you dumb fucker. Sentient organisms. This is why the logical constructs of antinatalism are not. Yeah, and let's look at it another way, okay? I mean, if you think about all the friction. Okay, that excessive population creates all the distractions, the crime, the drug use, the, the completely inefficient behavior of so many people, and how many social resources have to be funneled into that rather than pure research. We spend a lot more money on the social infrastructure than we spend on researching cures for disease, like a thousand to one in terms of the proportion of the money. So maybe if we had less people, we could devote more resources to doing something that would be truly in the long term extremely productive. Not necessarily logical, and they are not necessarily the whole picture. Yeah, well, you haven't countered an argument with a logical argument. The logic still survives the Benatarian mathematics survives your bullshit, empty, silly, juvenile, nonsensical critique. I, I mean, I'm just arguing that you're conceding the point. Life has this crap in it. It's incredibly unfair. Your luck of the draw. I was lucky to be born in this country, born at this time in history, born... I mean, all this stuff is just friggin' luck. And that's the luck of the draw. You want to play a luck of the draw game? You want to you draw straws to see who gets what? 
You want to play that game? Fine. I'm just saying that it's not insane for a rational brain to say, why would I play the game? We're not going to accomplish anything. The whole thing is going to get smashed in a you know, galaxy colliding catastrophe or some other bullshit. So why the fuck, what the fuck are you all doing this over and over again? We've already seen people do it over and over again. We've done it in every fucking position possible. I mean, it's time to just put it away. We know where we're from. We're from a goddamn swamp. We were built to be um, little selfish uh, uh, packets of, of DNA, uh, you know, that scurvy and scheme and wheel and deal and fuck each other over to get their fucking consumption and reproduction crap. That's why we're bigots and we're racist. That's why we play all these fucking little weaselly ego games is because that's what we've been built to do is to, to artificially keep climbing a hill of nothing, to keep ripping at each other, to get to the top of hill shit. You know, I, I am king of mount crap. I mean, that's all you're doing. You're chasing up this hill of absolute nothing. It seems as if there's just high expectations, overdrawn expectations, basically preferring the human imagination to the actual fact of reality and thereby saying reality sucks because I can imagine a world in which it would be better. Yeah, because I have logic. I have the faculty of logic. I know where I came from. I know what I was built by. That it didn't have a purpose. It didn't have reason involved. It didn't have a logical mission. It didn't have compassion. It didn't have any logical sensibilities. It had no way to weigh what it was messing with. And it made a very, very bad building. Okay, it's like an architect with no training. It's like letting Homer Simpson build your house. And you wouldn't just sit there and live in it. No, you'd look Look at it and you'd say, this has got to be fixed. You can't do it this way. This is no way to fucking goddamn live. This is wasteful and stupid. We have to do better than this. We have to do better than a DNA molecule as our fundamental guiding force. That's not the real world, though. And the real world has hardships, injustices. And it's not to say, yeah, let's just, you know, buck up and put up with it. I don't think that's the point. Well, I think that's pretty much all you keep saying. I mean, what do you think being stoic is? Eh? It's pretty much just doing the old buck up thing. The point is, though, that it's not one un unending, un uh, unrelented suffering for everyone. And that's not the point either. I mean, come on, this has all been argued. I mean, I've made the analogy seven million times that we have this pain and pleasure thing. And then we have this desire thing that perverts the scale. You put pains and you put the pleasures on the scales. And, well, look, it's not going to make any sense. I mean, that dying thing is going to be horrible. The sicknesses, the liabilities, the risks. Yeah, all of that stuff really sucks. Them parasites and things. All these little risks, all these little horrors that take place really, really suck. And our pleasures are these superficial, like, oh, I did her the other night from behind and it was really great. That's all we got, okay? And it's only this desire thing, this hungry thing. You have to be hungry, okay? The damn thing doesn't have any value unless you're hungry for it, all right? You need to be addicted to it for it to have fucking value. And if that hunger's gone, you'll see the truth. Truth, all right, but it's hard to get into that state. You got to be a little bit fucking miserable for that hunger to, 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 to die. But once the hunger's dead, you can see the goddamn truth. It'll be clear to you just how pointless it all is once the hunger is dead.